Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I'm going to update you on my November vendor booth sales and expenses. So if you want to see how my month turned out, stick around. I don't know if you noticed, but I did not get a DIY video up this last Friday. Our family got the dreaded positive test result. We, I started out the week not feeling well, got a positive test result on Tuesday night, and got to have a good solid three days where I was the only one sick. And that was kind of nice. I really got to do nothing. My husband stepped it up, but unfortunately, Friday night, he started feeling bad, and so did the little two. Thankfully, my oldest got to kind of stay away from the germs since she was in rehearsal and a play performance week this week oh, that I had to miss. Guys, I have not missed anything important yet, and I had to miss her performance, oh, but... um. She did really well and so far, so far she is staying healthy. So I am on the mend. My husband and the little two are still, you know, ill enough to be away from home and work. Um, and I'm thankful that I had my three days of rest so that I could start to take care of them. So I wanted to update you guys what hap to what happened in the month of November for my vendor booth. In the month of November, I sold 129 items. Now, to be fair, 73 of those items were stickers. But um, it needed to be noted. I'm trying to really pay attention to the things that sell. Um, I did not get into this vendor business to sell stickers and jewelry. But if those things are constantly selling and can allow me, can kind of make sure the rent gets paid and allow me to do the other stuff, I am all about it. About a week into the month of November is when I started my second booth. So technically the rent for that booth was only $288 as opposed to $360. So I had to pay that up front, but you will see in these numbers that I am paying the full amount of rent because I'm paying for the next month's rent. Technically in these numbers, you'll see that it shows me paying for four weeks of rent for my second booth where I only had to pay for three, but the sales only reflect, reflect being able to sell for three months. So I have a gross sales of $1,147.50 with a commission of $114.75. The credit card fees were $32.68 for net sales of $1,000.07. Um, as you can see, that is the most I've made so far, but I've also had two booths and the most rent that I've had to pay so far. So if you subtract out the booth rent of 220 plus 360 minus 36 minus 36 minus 36, that subtraction is for half days that I worked. And I am starting to do some social media reels for um, the Angry Mamas antiques and interiors facebook page and so every reel that i do after that i get some stuff off of my rent which is kind of fun so i got a check paid of 528 dollars and seven cents cost of goods souls sold was 140 dollars and seven cents with a profit of 388 dollars if I would have only counted for the $288 in rent that technically I was able to sell in. My profit was $460. Overall, I am happy with the month of November. Um, the reason that I did so well is that I finally sold a piece of furniture, this white and wood cabinet that I've had in my booth since I opened it. Originally, I had it priced pretty high because I wasn't ready to sell it. Um, then um, as I moved along, I was totally ready to sell it. I ended up selling it for $275. 
minus the cost of $46 to buy it. Um, the cost to sell for $36 was around a profit of $192. The next biggest profit item were eight gold rings um, that totaled amount of $72. The cost for those eight gold rings was around $4. That's a profit of $61. The reclaim wood table was given to me by my fairy by my donation fairy. Actually, the next two things were given to me by my, my donation fairy. The reclaim wood table and wall shelf, sold those for $65 a piece, had zero cost in that. So I just had to pay for the cost to sell. The next um, item, nine silver rings at $7 a piece. That's $63 in sales minus $450 in cost. So to sell nine rings was around a profit of $50. And then, Guys, it surprises me every time. 73 stickers were sold in one month for a dollar a piece. They cost around 20 cents per sticker and I sell them for a dollar each. It takes very little space up in my booth and people just buy them like one at a time, eight at a time. The other day, someone bought them for 16 stickers in one transaction. Listen, I again, I did not get into this business to be a sticker seller. But if I find cute stickers that I would like and someone else wants to buy them, cool, we'll do it. So stickers are there. I sold 73 stickers, nine silver rings, eight gold rings, three postcards, four sets of earrings, and only three items from the DIY paint line. However, I did notice last month I sold a lot. So a lot of the people are probably crafting this month and not necessarily buying paint. Also, I have sold a number of just like little ornaments, um, bracelets, necklaces, but a lot of my stuff has been like the small stuff, like a little green pottery mug. Um, just, I'm noticing it's a lot of like what gifts would be. And, and then I have, qu I've had quite a few Christmas decoration stuff. Not so much my handmade stuff, um, more my found stuff. A couple of my bottle brush trees did sell and a couple of my mug trees. But other than that, it's, it's a lot of gifts that I've been selling. So I am noting that this is my first season selling um, in a booth for Christmas. So it is a learning experience. And quite honestly, it has been a busy month in my family, obviously with being sick and all the dance recitals and everything. So I'm giving myself grace in the um, I probably could have gotten more prepared with the stuff that I was selling in my booth, but I applied balance and am just kind of learning to see how this all works. So um, let me know in the comments below how your November went. I am happy with my first month um, having two separate booths. I feel like it is a good step for me to kind of bet on myself. Um, after I did it and I put it out there, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? But I'm noticing I'm feeling more free, like I have more space. I don't have this small, tiny area to squish everything to. I can kind of split it up and that has been good for my creativity and it's been good for me getting some stuff out of this house. And some of the stuff that I've been putting in there, I'm surprised how quickly it sells. So let me know in the comments below how your November went. I hope that you guys are staying healthy and applying that grace. Guys, I put out a post today or the other day about grace and grit, knowing when to apply grace to your life and knowing when to push through and apply that grit. And I was so thinking about it last week when I was exhausted. I was like, do I apply the grit and just push out a video? And then I was like, you know what? Nobody wants to hear this voice because it was bad, guys. Um, so nobody wanted to hear that voice and you know what, it was good to get some rest. I've had two years on this channel now and never missed putting out a weekly video and I knew that it would survive. I don't know what I was thinking. It's my own deadline. It's not like you guys are like, that's it. We're leaving you. I knew that you guys would apply grace to me missing a video. So I wanted to thank you guys again for your support. I hope that your family is staying healthy. I hope that you're remembering to slow down. Just like I kept reminding you that I was forced to slow down this last week. 
I am excited to get back in the swing of things. My brain is missing the creativity and missing kind of the interaction with you guys. So I hope that you guys are doing well and I will see you guys this Friday on a DIY video. Bye guys.